Hello everybody and welcome back to Morphine Folio. We are jumping in once again. Let's randomize. We are on one win. Oh my god. As if. It's kind of crazy. Uh, Apollyon. Uh, I'm not really feeling Apollyon. Tainted Maggie is more my style though. Hell yes. Tainted Maggie regular run. Uh, we can go Dark Path. I love a good Tainted Maggie run. Did Was it Tainted Maggie that we did Greedier mode on recently? I can't remember. We start off with 3D glasses. You have a chance to shoot a special tier that on contact um, with an mwemwe with an enemy would spawn two friendly copies of it. These copies can't take damage, but they would die upon clearing the room. Apparently, this is slightly bugged because I have another mod that also adds um, that also adds an item called 3D glasses, and apparently the two of them like share their item effects so we're gonna see some wacky stuff going on from every now and again it might have been fixed by now but honestly i'm not super hopeful that's the case and it doesn't really matter if it isn't it's not like a big deal also i'm playing with a slightly weird shader on at the moment um i've got uh, N my nvidia not nvidia sorry my amd um like recolor textures on so when i play call of duty i i play with retextured colors and stuff it kind of just like um, change the sharpness of, of your image and uh, slightly changes the contrast and things like that. Um, and I've been playing with them on Call of Duty and for some reason it's carried over to the Binding of Isaac here, which is a little weird. I never really know if, if I should go like whole hog on this fella. And saying whole hog just sounds a bit weird. Um, but yeah. Right, well, there's one of the 3D shots. So, yeah, my game looks a bit different than it normally would, which is completely fine. It's just a bit of a shock. Um, Ayo, give me Torn Photo. Uh, I will go to the alt path. I like the alt path. Hello, give me a heart. Damn you, fool. Damn you. Anyways, for the question of the day today, for the question of the day today, what piece of tech do you earn that you genuinely think you couldn't live without? Okay, that was interesting. So, it did split them up there. I'm going to try and keep our devil deal if we can. Yeah, what what bit of tech do you own that you really genuinely think you couldn't live without? Me, I, like, I think probably the most obvious for, for me would be my PC. Um, oh, thank you, I got that. But probably my PC. Um, I, I use my PC for literally everything that I do. Um, I think that's decent, yeah. I think Slip Rib, while not insanely great... Um, the fact that we can utilize it to um, block some shots while we're whacking into enemies and stuff could be kind of useful, I imagine. I'm really hoping we get a red heart payout from our boss here. Yeah, um, like I think a lot of people would probably say, oh, this is kind of interesting. These, these guys are kind of funky. Um, I guess a lot of people would probably say they're mobile phone. I want to leave some creep for these guys to die on. Apparently, they don't take creep damage. These guys are kind of tricky. Oh my god. Yeah, that 3D effect's very strange. It's it's interesting, but it, it, it kind of insta-kills the enemy and turns them into like a double friendly immediately, which is kind of not what I'd expect. I'd expect it to be like when you kill... Oh, dude, that's an interesting shot you've got there. I was not expecting that. I don't know if I'm ready for this guy. Like, like that look. I didn't actually kill the enemy. It just automatically transformed it. Also, this guy is doing some stuff. He sure as hell is doing some stuff. Don't take away my ingredients. This guy just turned invisible and um, spawned two flies. Yeah, I don't really know what happened with that guy. I wonder if it's luck affected at all. Oh shit, he's dropping the fish on me. He's dropping the fish on me. And bad trip. Beautiful. Beautiful. Right, um, let's go through here. I would like to um, get some hearts. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Before we use our yum heart. I'm trying to explore all the rooms I can here as well. I know I don't need to, but I think the more hearts we can get, the better. There you go. We're up to full. It means we can get a, a few extra hits before we have to use yum heart in on the boss. I'm guessing it's going to be Wormwood or a modded boss that I'm not prepared for. Maybe Kakamancer? No? Just this dude. Okay, let's leave it at that. If I can get extra hearts out of these fellas, then I will go in for a few more hits. I like the fact that your uh, your swing can pick up hearts. Like, it acts kind of like a forgotten swing. It's pretty useful. 
Um, Item-wise, didn't get anything great there. We really don't want to take a devil deal. Um, I suppose range is kind of good. It works for your hugs. Um, but all in all, a pretty, pretty underwhelming flaw. Uh, and then, like, non-tech-wise as well, I realised the question was specifically about tech, but non-tech-wise, something that I th think I, I genuinely couldn't live without is all my cooking stuff. I've got so many different things in my kitchen that I just absolutely fucking love. Uh, like, just the other day, my girlfriend bought me... Uh, well, she, she kind of she kind of bought it for me, but she also bought it for herself because she didn't like the kitchen being a mess. Um, she bought a magnetic knife holder. It's like this little board that you can just stick all your knives to. Also, this is definitely going to hit me. I don't know. Uh, it's like this little magnetic board thing you can stick all your knives to, and it's just awesome. It just displays them so nicely. And the other thing is my knives itself. I absolutely love the knife that I had. Yet again, something that my girlfriend got me. Um, glass D10. Okay, we do have another bomb. I think we should utilize it to get in here. That's pretty good. It does give us a rotten heart, which is not great. But it gave us a health upgrade, so I'll take it. Okay, let's let's try not to take too much damage against this guy. Okay, this guy this guy puts out creep. I did not know that. I'm a little worried to be honest. I think this guy could cause problems for me. Yeah, I'm gonna lose my angel deal. No, I mean not that I've got one guaranteed, but I lost my chance. I could also die. It's looking like a plausibility, and we did indeed get Kakomancer, which is not the sort of boss that I want in a room like this. Because for one. I don't really know him very well, and for two, it's a small room, and also he's going to do fartsies, and also there's balls about. This is tricky. Um, I would very much like a yum heart charge. Oh, hello. Oh, that is very interesting to know. I'm a little annoyed I didn't realize that was going to be the case there uh, a little earlier, otherwise I could have got some of those hearts. Yeah, I think I'm dead. <laughs> Kakomancer, I do not really know how to play you. Also, when are you going to fart out some... Um some explosives. Oh, dude. He dashes right towards you. It's scary. Okay, I'm, I'm somehow keeping it together here. But I'll be honest, I don't really know how. I need to remember that I can, I can go through the gas. Like, I don't want to be on it all the time, but I can go through it relatively scot-free. Damn you, I missed out on all the health. I rushed in specifically to get the health there, and I missed out on literally all of it. Okay, we just about got him. We've also got to remember he has an excruciatingly long death animation for some reason. <laughs> okay, that was tricky. We almost died. <laughs> Par for the course, I guess. It is what it is. Okay, we got some some, some of these guys, which isn't going to be super great for us right now. Okay, 3 deed some of those. Okay, we got a ton of hearts. Honestly, this 3D glasses thing is going to be great. Seems like it's going to be very, very useful. Ah! You hit me. I'm glad we got the, um... The rotten... Rotten mushroom or whatever it was called. Oh god, I'm sliding all over the place. I can't handle this. We also got a yum heart back for whenever we need it, which will be right now. Okay, let's go find that item room first. But today's a pretty chill day. I've been playing the uh, Modern Warfare 2 beta. I kind of mentioned it the other day. It's finally out on PC now, so I can play it. I did have a little bit of a, an absolute shitting myself moment. I think if you guys remember in the last few episodes, I've been mentioning I've been having some issues with my PC and my screen flickering black. That seems to have stopped. But uh, when I started playing uh, the new Call of Duty, my screen was flickering black right, like crazy. So I was kind of crapping myself. Um, oh, thank God we didn't take that other item. That would have been terrible. Um, yeah, I was kind of crapping myself quite badly. Uh, Birthright would be super good. I don't know if we have, we have any ability to get Birthright, but... Um, also, we do have a D100 in here. I'm really tempted to use it. I think for now, I'm just going to carry it. Because, like, right now, I have one one good thing going for me. I have a lot of red health. A lot of red health is pretty good. But, 
Yeah, I don't have a lot else going for me right now. So, we'll, we'll see. I'm gonna do cash room here. This could give us the money we need, technically, I think. Or it could take money away from us. It did, both times. All stats up? Damn it. The pennies have a chance to give you an all stats up. I was hoping for it. Yes, yeah, so I've been playing that, and it's been a lot of fun. Uh, definitely, like, a few issues with the game. Mainly one. It might genuinely have the worst UI I've ever seen in a game. Like, I've played early access games. I've played alphas that... And they've never, ever had UI this bad. It's horrendous. They, they've just added menus on menus on menus on menus on menus on menus for just no reason whatsoever. You have to navigate through a load of crap to get to where you actually want. And even then, when you get there, it's still not clear what exactly you're able to do within that menu. It's very, very confusing. Um, and then also another thing, it's not particularly a huge issue because I did expect it, but the game has skill-based matchmaking like the previous Call of Duties did. That's a really annoying feature. For those of you that don't know what that is, it's pretty self-explanatory. Essentially, rather than matching you based on your ping, so based, matching people based on best connection, like it used to in Call of Duty, it now matches based on best skill level, which means you have to compromise your connection to the server, meaning you could get worse connection, and also it means everyone is on equal or close to skill level with you, which means that you never really get easy lobbies, which is fair for the people that aren't doing so well. Like, I've got to say, um, for the people that are struggling with the game, it is fair enough that they get an equal chance and they're not going to get absolutely shit on by pro players. But at the same time, it means that pro players get put against lots of other pro players and no one actually does well. No one gets kill streaks. Everyone's just getting one kill and dying, one kill and dying. I'm sure a bunch of you out there do not give two fucks about Call of Duty and you're like, why are you talking about this? But it's just, I don't know. It's what I've been doing today or part of today. Ooh, Golden Bomb's quite nice here. Ooh, hello. A little rock bottom, if I may. Um... <laughs> Most useless trinket ever. Literally can't do anything. Um, hmm. So, I reckon... I reckon we don't D100 now, because I, I have rock bottom. So I'm going to drop that, just to be sure that I don't accidentally use it. I was thinking, oh, what if I re-roll into something with a bunch of stats, and I, I use that... Um, I use that for rock bottom, but then I just realised I won't have rock bottom anymore, so that's literally pointless. But, I like this. This is potentially a good setup. Rock bottom runs are a lot of fun. Oh god, these enemies are a bit tricky. I should be taking pills at every opportunity, because there's not many negative pills that can affect us in a bad way, so that one I'll go back and take in a minute. What's left in this room? Excuse me? Oh, what the hell? <laughs> there's an invisible enemy over there. Um, also, there's no longer a pill in here. Oh, it's in here. What the hell? Okay, we got Curse of the Maze. See, speed down doesn't do anything to us. We got Lust. Gives um, three full heart containers for the current room. Speed down by 0 0.4. So that will give us a speed down. That's nice. We really want some stuff that's going to work really well with Rock Bottom. I mean, that's, that's all up to the whim of the game, really. We don't know if we're going to end up getting anything that really works for us, but we might. The Emperor doesn't really matter for us. Second secret room could be here. It is indeed. Relax. What the hell are these? Oh! <laughs> this is cool. I didn't know you fucking stole it. <laughs> you dick. That was really cool. That was really, really cool. destroy all those for no other reason than I just want to. God damn, we're getting, we're getting a lot of stuff at the end of rooms sometimes here. Moon card, we don't need, but I'll grab it. We've definitely lost our item room somewhere along the way here. But yeah, very cool rooms. Very cool rooms indeed. We also have a good amount of red health as well, which is really nice here. Yeah, I'm really intrigued by this item effect. It seems it seems like it could be very interesting. It seems like you can kind of insta-kill some enemies with it. 
That's a good item. I think I should definitely take it. It's not a great item for who we are currently. That's a little bit early, I think. I'm pretty much going to exclusively fight this guy with their uh, bomb damage. I should, I suppose I could do some de detonating tears as well. Remember, this guy has a lot of somewhat, I wouldn't say bullshit attacks, but somewhat unpredictable attacks. The bombs are definitely the best way to go. Like, that one's a bit unpredictable because it comes from the sky. Boom, he's almost dead. Right, we got him. Not too bad. Pop at the end. Thank you. Okay, we found our item room. What was in our item room? Did I say that we, we've missed our item room after going to it? I think I did, didn't I? I do that a lot. I'm very dumb. Yeah, this item, it's pretty good. It doesn't do anything for rock bottom, really, but it generally just is a good item to have. Damn it, I was really hoping I could get away with using the iframes there. Didn't really work out. I'm going to try and blow a bunch of stuff up and get a crawl space. Smash one of those guys. And yeah, for the rest of the day, it's just going to be recording a bunch more Call of Duty. Cause, Call of Duty? A um, bunch more Isaac. Because I'm preparing for my holiday right now. Uh, I, I want to make sure you guys have... Replaces dimes with golden pennies. It's golden, so I guess, but dimes aren't exactly that common, so I don't know how useful that's going to be. Oh, yes. What, what, what do we get? Not bad, not bad. Nothing insanely good, but not bad at all. Um, We got a golden version of this, so we get two of these guys. We got um, Baby Bender, which affects these guys. We got the bag lunch, which I think does work for us because it's an on-hit effect. Yes, baby bender with this is pretty good. They're a little hard to uh, manage, but I'm having a hard time getting the health here. These little dippy things, I hate them. Okay. Yeah, these guys get a little nice, nice little bit of herming, which I really like. Oh, there's a Dominic there, you cock. Um... Of course, as you can see, they are incredibly unstable at staying next to me. But we'll deal with that as it comes. I don't know why it's so hard to keep them next to me, to be honest. I can I can dive them at enemies. Um, two to three copper bombs. Um, two to three copper bombs. And 1 to 20 red hearts. Um, I don't think our second secret room was a special one, but I'm going to try it anyways. Jack of clubs. Might as well just pick up all of these. Bunch of copper bombs isn't exactly a great thing to have, I'll be honest. Okay, so we don't really want to be utilizing their double tap mechanic, to be honest. It's not super useful when we've got a uh, baby bender. Bloody little dips. Oh, hello. That's very nice. Right. Back through we go. Yeah, I don't know if to save this uh, this Queen of Hearts. It doesn't really make much sense to save it because normally, like, I, I suppose I could save for an angel deal room and get a bunch of eternal hearts. But they're pretty rare, so I don't know if that's going to end up working out. I I'll try it, though. Why not? Excuse me? I want this, just in case. Right. Golden copper bombs. I'm probably just going to use all of them here. I think that last one did hit him. We're not really running into enemies right now, but we don't really have the need to. So that's fine. I'm so glad we got this uh, Malice thing gold. That's pretty lucky. As an angel deal. Uh, tears move in a holy trinity pattern. Gain spectral tears. That seems kind of fun. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with that.
Pascal Candle? N Ooh, actually, I was just about to say Pascal Candle, not very good for us, but no, it's really good for us. As long as we can get it to max once, then we're good. All we do is get it to max once. And then we keep all the tier benefits the entire time. Why aren't these enemies dying? Taking a very long time to perish. I love the fact that little chests can drop like trinkets and stuff as well. It's so good. I'd like herming on top of this. That'd be good. I'm a little bit worried about my current HP, but I do have the Queen of Hearts if I need to use it. I'm just trying not to use it right now, because if we get a good second secret room, we could get so many Eternal Hearts out of it. It's kind of rare that we're going to get that. I realize it's a bit of a pipe dream, but I'm still holding out hope. Ugh, clicker. No thank you. There's no reason to ever use that. Actually... Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Vade Retro, we don't have anything um, in our slot right now, so that's kind of good. And we got Seraphim as well, that's really good. I mean, it already has Herming, but I'll give it the benefit of the doubt. I actually want to leave, please. Thank you. Okay. We got everything we can get out of this room. It was kind of an interesting room. Death card, why not? Okay. I kind of forgot about the fact that there's one of those. A sacrifice room would be super useful. Nice, what the hell? Is there another enemy here? Oh, there is, yeah. Hello. Got him. I can't tell. Is my candle at full kilter right now? I don't know. Our familiars are going to carry us here. Now, all we need now is Cern Bond, and then our familiars are absolutely cracked. We got the Giga Farts. I don't think we have any anything that causes us to fart right now. Reflected Sacks. Uh, a World card is a pop. And a Death card we can just use at our leisure. Okay. Keep it going. I'm really enjoying this run so far. Really enjoying it. Do you know one that I'm slightly not enjoying though? It's actually quite a nice day out. And I want to go out. But... I have to record Isaac because, like I said, I'm going on holiday soon. I need to backlog. Um, and then, yeah, I want to play Call of Duty. <laughs> it's like the, the most mundane problem ever. It's literally, like, not a problem at all. I could just go outside. But I'm also like, eh, I really want to. But also, I don't. Goddamn, I wish my babies would stay closer to me. It's very annoying that they don't. Oh, Vade Retro is so fun. It's a very fun one. Indeed it is. I'm really liking this trinket too. We seem to be triggering the 3D effect pretty regularly also, which is nice. I kind of like it with this uh, charge up thing because we get pops pretty much all over the room rather than just in front of us. Which isn't always super useful, but in a good amount of circumstances it's going to be quite nice. Right, do all the rooms we can here. We might as well. You managed to jump over all those Vade explosions. You dick. Look at that. Instantly turned that guy into the 3D. And you get the fact that you get two of them. You kill an enemy instantly and then get two of them in return. It's a pretty strong item. It's a pretty strong item. You're getting a lot of value out of it, definitely. Right. Baby Bender, it's the best. Where you at, boys? There you go. Is everything not dead yet? What the hell's alive? Oh, hello. You managed to sneak by me there. Item room, item room, not item room. I'll, I will take the ladder. Why not? 
Still got a bunch of copper bombs here, so we're gonna have to go through a few duds. Secret room, very odd placement for second secret room. Uh, for secret room there. Okay, that's that's why, because it's not actually there. I look at the map and I just read it completely wrong. Ugh, slightly annoying room here. I'm just gonna shortcut around because I can't be asked. Need to be using Vade as much as we possibly can here. It does a ton to help us. I'm seeing a lot more uh, Fiend Folio champions recently. I don't know if uh, one of the updates just added more, more enemies that can become champions, but I, I swear, like, my first few times playing, I just didn't see any champions really at all, and now I'm seeing quite a lot. Beautiful. Is that not the room over? Okay. Ah. Hello, sir. Trying to think what I want next. I just want more familiars at this point, honestly. Just a, a baby bender riot. An absolute baby bender riot. Ooh, what the new boss. We got the new boss. And this time we don't have insane damage, so it's not going to be an insta-kill. I really like the idea of this boss. There's also a new wound boss, which I've been told is pretty awesome. Um, I've seen a little clips of it. It looks kind of interesting. It doesn't really look like an Isaac boss so much as it looks like kind of a visual show. Um, I'm interested to see it in gameplay, though, because it might play a bit different than it looks. It's a really cool idea. Uh, damage, spawn one coin on pickup. Thank you. Down we go. <sighs> Still looking for that, like... One thing that could really be crazy with, um, that could really be crazy with, what am I trying to say? Oh, with rock bottom. Um, see, now this, um, I, I realize this is a bad idea because I'm going to have to come back and get that if this doesn't work. But the, the cookie is supposed to give us damage on excess red heart pickups. I really like the idea of that on this character. I just don't think it actually works. Like, we're at full hearts now. Oh, hello. Soul of Azazel, hello. Hit the cracked key first. Ooh, crystal key's also really good here. Cracked key. I need to test it out, but it's kind of hard to test out. I'm not actually at full red hearts that often is what I'm realizing here. Maybe I want my Trinity thing back. I'm at full now. I just need to pick up one heart while I'm still at full. Uh, where am I? Okay, yeah, it doesn't work. Damn it. It's still not fixed. It's been broken for a really long time. Notched Axe is a very fun item, but I'm really liking Vade right now. I'm going to trade a Soul Heart just to get back my Trinity because it is really fun. I would like to use the Eternal Car Battery. I just, I've not really found a use case for it yet. I feel like it, oh my god. I feel like it's really cool, but you need a specific sort of setup to use it. Also, that item room there that we haven't been to. Right, let's go get that. Uh, Soul of Azazel, I'd like to keep you, just in case. Ah, I just never finished this room, I see. I didn't realize I hadn't finished it. What, what What's actually going on here? What enemy is left for me? Oh, it's you. I like the way it spawned temporary pipes here as well. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Now, I'm going to take this just because I'm very curious as to how this is going to work with my trinket. If it doesn't work, I will cry. Ah, oh. <laughs> that's depressing. Also, we seem to have a, a pipe that's permanently following us now. I might as well take Crystal Key now. That's a bit of a shame. I mean, this item's good, but... Make it do a weird pattern at least. Gah, it's a worm trinket. I 
expected more. Soul hearts there. Some extra pennies. Still though, very good run. We're not really using uh, Tainted Maggie's ability all that much right now, which is fine. We don't have to use it, but I will try and get it in there when we can. I just wish we had something that was going to give us some more rock bottom stats. Hello, hello. A red item, perchance. I do like myself a red item. Dime. That could have been a golden penny. What the hell is this? Okay, so we got a bunch of good cards here. Um, implosion. Oh, that's cool. Right, let's actually see what this item does. Destroys the closest rock and turns it into a large ghost. Using the active again will detonate all large ghosts in the room. Okay, so this is kind of like Vade. Hmm. Okay, I like it. I like it. It's it's a little bit different. I'm also going to take this. Save it for a big room. Actually, we do have a big room right here, don't we? Uh, this is a very good big room for it. Okay, wait until it fills up. Oh, petrified poop. Gimme. Before we destroy too much. Luck pennies are really one of the big things we're looking for here. We have a great item for this as well. Quite a lot of soul hearts here. God damn. Honestly, Cardius Humanity, still in my opinion, one of the best cards in the entire game. It is like guaranteed full HP, and I mean Soul Heart and Thingy. Guaranteed 99 cents, usually a few luck upgrades. It's it's just, it's insane how good it is. Yeah, it's absolutely insane how good it is. Seems interesting. I don't think I don't think it's as good as Vade. I don't think it's quite as good, but it's new, so I'm gonna take it. Gimme, gimme. Yeah. Very, very good. We'll hopefully get some good stuff from our shops in the future. Because we have quite a lot of pennies to be spending. We have a lot of red health. I don't know, I'm still kind of tempted to re-roll this run if I get the opportunity. Like, it's very good and Rock Bottom has potential, but it's not done anything crazy for us yet. And I feel like it definitely could. Feels weird coming out of the back of an item room like this. We entered it the wrong way. Also, is, is, am I, like, is my game bugging out a little bit and not loading the right Tinted Rocks, or does this floor just not have its own Tinted Rock texture? I'd be completely fine if it didn't, I'm just curious. I don't expect them to have one for every single floor. But most floors do have them, which is why I'm cur uh, curious. Oh, hello. I, I think we should play you. Apparently, I'm a I was a little, like, confused as to how this guy works before. Apparently, when he holds up a card like that, you bomb him and you get the card. And sometimes he just uses the card on you. What I'm trying for here is a payout, because I know this guy can pay out with items. I'd love him to give us an echo chamber. I know that he can do that. I don't know how much he costs to do that, though. Ow. Welcome to the fire. Oh, he stomped. Do you know... I bombed that, and I didn't even think it's going to kill him, and it did. Oh, hello. <laughs> but you got a new one. It doesn't matter. Do you know what? I'm going to... No, that's not what I meant to do. <laughs> he changed it to a red portal. It was a fucking... Um, it was a blue one for the secret room. I was like, okay, I'm going to speed myself to the secret room. And it was like, no, you're not. I need to do Dark Path here. Also, we can definitely take a Devil Deal at this point. We have so many red hearts, and another one coming our way. I'll take him. He's not very good, but I'll take him. I wonder if he works with Baby Bender. Probably not. Um, also, 
uh, noticing that we can't detonate our Tech X. So Tech X has really burned us here. We can't detonate our Tech X tiers because they're not tiers. So we screwed over another one of our items. Yeah, another good reason to reroll. I love the screws in this floor. They look so good. I was in, under the impression the ghost would kind of like move towards an enemy, but apparently that's not the case. The Eternal D12. I do like the idea of that. Do you know what? I'm going to take that for one reason and one reason only. If we get a holy poop, it gives us a massive stat bonus forever. And holy poops are plausible through this. I like the way this pipe is just stuck with us forever now. The hero font card there, but we don't really need it. So it either deletes all the rocks or rerolls them like the D12 normally would. But yeah, we can get um, the holy poops that have that aura around them. That aura gives us a massive stat boost, and we get to keep that massive stat boost because of rock bottom. So I think it's worth it. Also, it's just interesting. And that other item, honestly, I don't rate it. I thought the ghost would herm in on them or something. Doesn't seem to do that. Okay. Two for two on deleting everything, which is not great. Oh god, that's a lot of red hearts there. Okay, this is a good room for it. If it rerolls and not deletes. See, there's a tinted rock there. I see that. I'll just blow that up real quick before we uh, get to deleting all the rocks. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Three for three. It's a 50% chance. How many more can we go for? Crack that open. Bunch of the little jumpers. Little jumpy jumpies. Oh god. Wasn't expecting that for some reason. Four for four so far. This is the chances of this are getting quite quite small. Don't do me dirty again, game. Hey, I finally got my bag lunch payout. Took them long enough, but we finally got there. Hey, it finally re-rolled. We didn't actually get anything useful, but it finally re-rolled. I don't know how much health I'm on, by the way, like, at all. I'm very confused right now. Miser heart. We got a red room here as well. A it leads to our red room as well. The ultra secret room. That's ocular rift. That's good at least. Um, inflict all enemies in the room with burning. Ow! Wait, what? How come everything re-rolled when I got hit? I'm a little confused about that. It's, it's fine. Let's just ignore it and move on with our day. But yeah, Ocular Rift, pretty good. Pretty good. Okay, I'm not going to re-roll a single rock or two rocks that's in this room. This I will do. Okay, so out of six uses, out of six uses, it has re-rolled one. So we're going to keep count of that because I bet our odds are still going to be pretty bad. Seven uses, one reroll. <laughs> this is getting pretty, pretty crazy. Okay, got another reroll there. That's a rainbow poop. Not quite the poop we're looking for. Oh, we got the boss. Okay. Look at this crazy shit. Oh my god, it's fucking creepy as fuck. It's like the music's gone all eerie and turned off the eyes everywhere. Oh god, Ocula's messing with this. Look at him hanging. Oh my god, the head. Holy shit, that sprite is insane.
My god, this is a tricky boss. What on earth was that last bit? <laughs> that was pretty cool. Okay, I, I had my reservations about that boss. I still do. I still think he's kind of a a show rather than a boss fight. It kind of it's kind of like you're watching something. Because the I feel I at least find my myself found it very hard to dodge there, but really fucking cool nonetheless. The sprite work especially is insanely good. Judas's shadow is something decent for us here. I think I used my active by accident as I walked in here then. Did them guys get reworked? I swear they're firing more shots than they normally do. Also, my health is looking real bad right now. We gots to be careful. Okay. Ow. Holy. A lot happened there. We got most of our health back though. In fact, all of it back and some extra. And that deleted them all. First time I've actually re-rolled the same room twice. I don't know why I haven't thought about doing that before. There's a lot of rocks in one room. We can just roll the same room a few times. We just got to find the right room that's got like a ton of rocks in it. I despise these enemies. Damn, free library. And our secret room as well, nice. The sound we get anemic. Hell yeah. That's exactly what I was looking for. Another red room here. We take all the ones we can get, to be honest. Deleting them all again. Honestly, our track record with this item is awful. We've we've rolled like how many times now? Like, more than 10, and only three of them have actually re-rolled. Every uh, other roll has deleted stuff. It's kind of saddening. It is what it is, but it is kind of saddening. Right. Grab that. Also, apparently it can't reroll spiked rocks for some reason. I'm not quite sure why that is. No idea where the boss is at this point. Ow, walked into a spiked rock there. Some of these spiked rocks look really cool. Ooh, this room's look looking pretty cool. Oh, this is a vanilla room, apparently. I thought it was a modded one. Right, we've still not really got the um the crazy rock bottom play yet. We've got not got anything that's really driven us into a really good spot with it. Oh, this one re-rolls when there's like fuck all rocks. Of course it does. Okay. Fire a bunch of those off. Delete some all again. Whenever there's a good amount of rocks, it's like, nah. <laughs> I'm not going to let you do that. No thank you, sir. Kill a bunch of these big boys. Tech X doing a good job. Still no rainbow poop. Not rainbow poop, sorry. Uh, holy poop. It's the only thing we're waiting for now. Okay, let's 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 do some smacky smackies here. I realise we don't particularly need to, but it's just fun. We haven't really gotten a, a super good setup for tinted maggies gimmick here. We've got a good setup, but it doesn't really flow in with her gimmick very well. And yet again, yeah, not very good. We'll take this for Bookworm. But otherwise, we're not too interested in either of those. And we are going down? Yeah, down. 
Rock Bottom has tried, but it has not succeeded. It's, it's why, when people say Rock Bottom is one of the best items, it's why I can't agree. Like, it's potentially one of the best items, but you, like, you can have runs where you get very little to aid uh, Rock Bottom and actually making any difference. You have to get the items that enable Rock Bottom to be good. You can't really take a, a range down or a tears down pill and it not and it not do anything because of Rock Bottom be like, oh my god, look, best item. It's like, eh. I, like, I still stand by, I think, while it's a fairly boring item, I still think Binge Eater is the best item in the entire game. Just for the sheer fact that ev now that every food item heals you as well as gives you HP, it essentially means you are entirely invincible. It's so hard to die because you're getting like three to four health ups every floor. Even in the late floors, you're getting one or two. Um, so you're always going to be on max red hearts and you're always going to be getting healed by picking up new ones. And then you get the damage upgrades, um, the damage upgrade that comes with it, the scaling damage upgrade that like scales down slowly. And then you also get the stats that the actual uh, upgrade itself, the actual item itself gives you. It's just bonkers. You get so much value for it. I don't know how people can't agree that it's the best item. Like, obviously, objectively, Death Certificate is technically better because Death Certificate is all items. But I don't really think I'd class that because that's not really a single item in my opinion. Yeah, I really do think that it is uh, Binge Eater. So, so most people will say, oh, but it's boring. It's like, yeah, it, it, it is a bit boring, but that doesn't make it not the best. I love the rework to the certain fight. It's so good. Letting this guy be champion is pretty good. Not having the bomb flies. The brimstone changes to these attack patterns here. Makes him a little better. He's still pretty squishable, though. And then the foot changes are pretty good too. I like the fact that it doesn't spawn the stupid ass bomb flies anymore. And I like the fact that you have to play it a little smart. You can't just stand on the cardinal directions of the feet constantly. It's good. It's good changes. You can still wreck him pretty quick, but it's good changes. <sighs> right. What we got here? Um, Lusty Blood, we'll take that, and Succubus, we'll take that too, because these are both things that will grant us permanent damage upgrades. Ow. Right, just keep our eyes peeled. I love the, the, the aesthetic on this floor. So good. I just love how many, how many mods we have that work in tandem together to produce something so great. I just wish I was able to use more mods. There's so many mods that I'd like to be using right now, but I can't because the game's frame rate just dies. Like, I think I've hit a point with the amount of mods I've got on now where my frame rate's pretty stable. It's pretty decent. I have some runs where it's a little lower. Like, right now it's at, like, 50, but that's completely manageable. Um, we could just end Brickard. <laughs> nah, we won't. Um... Yeah, I think we've hit a good point. God damn, we found it every floor so far, pretty much, since we got the trinket. Temper tantrum. I guess so. You can enter a berserk state. Oh, hello, you. I don't think you're going to drop an angel item on this floor, are you? No, you are not. I didn't think so. The bats and her bat babies. Why not pick up a single red heart, then? What the hell? I love the fact that you can find some other, like, archetypes of flaws here. We've entered rage mode, although our range is apparently 28 somehow, so it's basically useless. When did we get 28 range? 
At what point did that happen? I have no idea. Also, what an interesting room. A room that essentially just ended its own life. Good for you, game. Buttermilk. Don't do it to me, copper bomb. Why you gotta be like this? Cancer. That's very good. That's gonna help a whole heap. Oh, come on. Where the hell's the boss? How have I gone every which wrong way? What the hell? rerolled the fire into nothingness. Thank you. Okay, we're making our way through. A little tricky, but we're good. TechX is making these floors significantly easier. That's a lot of grid objects. Still no holy poop though. It was my mission, but it was not successful. Is that a tinted tombstone? It is not. It kind of looked tinted. Hello, Mega Fatty. Oh my god, look at this. Look at that range. It's th that is another thing that I'd love to see fixed by mods. The way that uh, range interacts with swiping, it should create... A swipe that's long, like kind of it origin the, the swipe mark originates from your body and it's kind of long and thin, rather than just placing the, the swing further away from your body. Because as you can see right now, like this this gish here, I literally can't hit him because my, my range is too high. It's just dumb. And I, I don't know if it's plausible to fix with mods, but if it is, that'd be a really cool mod to see. I'd love to see a few things like that that just fix some weird quirks. I can't remember which one it was that I mentioned in yesterday's episode, or day, or day before that, maybe. I mentioned another um Another mod that would be really cool to see that fix something. I, I genuinely can't remember what it is now that I mentioned. But all those sort of mods, I really like those. Honestly, just sit behind little Krampus. Hope for the best. He will protect. Honestly, Ocular Rift is the thing that's protecting me right now. Either way, that's going to be the end of this run. Unfortunately, Rock Bottom didn't hit too hard. But we did indeed get a victory there. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next one.